what did I use for rank B? Uh, hang on one moment, I will let you know. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna roll a six-sided die here. One for spears, two for boomerangs, three for courage, and four, five, six. Three for courage. Okay, we're gonna throw our points in there then. Sassari learns Giga Slash, he becomes a god of the sword. Sassari's courage increases. He gains the courage to set forth on his jury. He learns Zoom. Alright, my monster team for rank B, I'm pretty sure, was uh, Sagittari. No, it wasn't Sagittari. Um, it, it was uh, Cure, Dumb King, and Haxzilla. Pretty sure. Yeah, Cure, Haxzilla, and Dumb, Dumb King. Although, it would probably work better if you went. Uh, Cure uh, stirrups and Haxilla, or uh, st cure stir stirrups and uh, dumb king. All right, Jessica. Ah, she can't go any higher than that. All right. She's gonna learn thin air though. That'll be good. There we go. Jessica learns thin air. All right. Oops. Angelo, it's gonna be learn lightning storm. Charming look. There we go. Angelo's charisma increases. He becomes the Knight of Knights. He improves his angel eyes technique to match the charming look. He is a royal knight in terms of his sword. Alright. And Yangus. You're going to learn Devil Crusher. He's a Lord of Destruction. And Mori, we get to pick one, two, three, four, and five for this, for this guy. So, bring out our... Yeah, I had to bring a healer. 16. So, it's going to be Claws. Okay. So, is it going to get attack plus five, propeller blades, attack plus ten, can opener... Claw critical hit rate increased. Hard claws. Attack rate plus 20% or 20 with it. Break and break. Attack plus 25 with claw eclipse. And not quite going to get hand of God. So for a second one, we are going to roll our eight sided. Seven. Five, six, seven. Second one's gonna be fisticuffs. Okay, that's good, I guess. He's gonna learn stone throw, attack plus 10 when empty handed. There we go. Okay. Monster Mori's claw skills includes he learns basic claw fighting techniques. Attack by increases by 5. He becomes a Semplice Scratcher. Propeller Blades. He becomes a Splendido Scratcher. He becomes the Splendissimo Scratcher. He becomes Can Opener. Mori's Claw Skills improve. He becomes a Claw Competent. He becomes a Claw Catastrophico. A Grand Gouger. Grandissimo Gouger. Grandissimo Gouger. Stone Throw. He becomes a Macho Man. Alright, so we're going to bring Mori with us for now. Okay, so, to find Cure, what I did is I zoomed to Raiden's Tower, and then if you go north of Raiden's Tower, there's like a um, a bunch of forest and uh, church. The Cure was in around that that forest area, just, just strolling around, hanging out. The cure was really good to have along, but he kind of was being an asshole to me. He, uh, in that last battle, he kept fucking assessing his situation instead of doing something. But then again, Maurice was doing the same thing, so I guess it was just an off day for all of them, all involved.
So, at the beginning of each stream, I'll just roll and see who I get, Mori or Yangus. That way I still have a chance to use Yangus. I like Yangus, he's really awesome. But I feel like it's good to show off Mori too, since we just got him. And he's new to the game. Come here, Blizzard. I don't think we fought one of you last time. So, we're gonna advance the story now, hopefully. Some frost burns up here. Alright. Alright, so let's use Propeller Blades, an attack that harnesses the power of a tornado in terrifying talons of torture. Let's use it on that, on another way. Oh, that's pretty cool. And there the rest of them go. <laughs> My Mori's Battle Stance victory. That's fantastic. Alright, so let's uh, look for treasure over here. We'll fight this witch, why not? Some ice queens appear. They don't seem to notice the party's presence. Oh, and they're both in the same group. All right. We're gonna show you some Giga Slash. And the can open. An attack that works wonders against machines and material foes. Okay, cool. I'll use it anyway, but. I've never used uh, Harvest Moon. I'm gonna try it out. Oh, all enemies have a chain of cartwheels and backflips. Alright, let's check that out. Lightning Storm. <laughs> Excellent, Jessica. Giga Slash. That's cool. Those are some really cool attacks. <laughs> awesome. Harvest Moon didn't do much damage, but then again, I don't expect Jessica to do a lot uh, of melee damage. Yeah, there's a robot up there you can get as well if, you've, if you're in this area. You can kind of see it up on the mountain range there. He's also very good. Can open would be good against these. See, I'll, I'll use it again and we'll see. Yeah, big improvement over the last time I used it. Some treasure over. Oh, there is a treasure chest over here. Ah, oh, see the magic. Cool. Keep an eye out for blue chests too, because when you get those, they uh, can have some really good stuff in them, but they also respawn later. Anyway, the. Um, there's a robot up here. I'm not actually looking for it. I don't know if I'm going to fight it right now, but... Where'd he go? Just saw him a moment ago. There he is. Right there. These guys here, the attack bots, they're really good as well. So you may consider bringing one of them. Oh, this guy still wants to fight me. Alright. Alright, Mori, what other abilities we got here? We got Hard Claws, a furiously fast triple laceration attack of which any tiger would be proud. Alright, try it out. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't even let it. Okay. So it's like a threefold attack. I gotcha. Haha, <laughs> take that, Mori. Alright, we're just gonna attack. We're gonna have you use Rake and Break. A solemn strike that strips a single foe of any special status enhancements. It might be enduring. That sounds awesome. So does that include, like, tension up and such? Because that would be fantastic. So while Yangus has Helm Splitter, Mori has uh, the ability to pull buffs off of mobs. That is something I need. I definitely like the sound of. Alright, what's down here? Nothing! Okay. Leave me over there for no reason, you sack of shit game. Okay. I like how those frost Y vines are uh, running from me now. Oh, there's uh, another monster if you want it. Uh, a blizzard. They're okay, nothing special. I've never used it in rank B, but in the middle ranks they're generally pretty good. There's a treasure chest up there, I'm going up there to get it. I think. Naturally, I unlock it. And I get a mini metal. Excellent. I actually need six more mini metals and I can get myself my miracle sword. Which I will probably be upgrading to a uh, uber miracle sword because I like the uber miracle sword. Alright. Oh, you got mid heal as well. Excellent. I'll have you attack. I'll have you cast kaboom. Yeah, Mori! I like the fact that I already have Jessica a, uh, a dragon robe. That's pretty awesome. Fuck off, Ringlings. I don't like you. You're weak. You don't give any good EXP. Maybe if they I let them level up, but then they become stronger and then I run the risk of dying. It's just not worth it. Anyways, uh, Mega Master, you are quite welcome and feel free to ask anything else. If I know the answer, I will let you know. Oh, hello. You knew. Hellhounds and a killing machine. All right, Mori. Actually, probably would have been better if I just used thin air. That's all right, though. Let the hellhounds die in a fire. Go team, we did it. 747 EXP, not bad. We're not here to level though. We're here to get treasure. Wait, no, that's not why we're here. It certainly helps, though. Killing machine and a Y vine. There's really no reason not to use Kano, but it doesn't take any MP, so... Tossing a boulder does, but it does such good damage that it's worth it. Glowing 
flowers. Ah, pots. Pots to break. A rose wart and puts it in the bag. Okay, cool. A mini metal. That's two of the six I needed. Maybe the other six will be in this cave? Not likely. That would be awesome. I'll probably find maybe one more in the cave. Maybe. But even then, that would be unlikely. Oh, look. Beef. The Flyman. I think the last one we fought with these was in the, like that old abbey. We were gonna say, uh, trying to save Abbot Francisco. What I like about Thin Air is it typically does a decent amount of damage, but it's also very cheap. Same with Boulder Toss, it only costs 4 MP. So here's did 76 damage. So that's pretty fantastic for 2 MP. fall off here. So we'll just walk, take it slow. Silly, are you excited to fight Proto Ultima? A Hermes hat? Ooh, I need that. That'll be good for something later. For now, is that better? what somebody's wearing. Better for Mori. Alright, we'll go for Mori. Make him faster. I know it doesn't make him faster, it'll just let him cast zoom. Kinda. But I can use it in alchemy for something. Which makes me fairly happy. Other way, why bye. All right, dude. Why do you want to build your fucking herb garden so far down in a cave? It's so rude. All right, this is a good time to reset my recording. Uh, unfortunately, this will be the last little bit of today's stream. It's going to be a shorter stream. I slept in, and I got to be at a meeting at 2:30.